the checks, but also going to include things like bank fees and withdrawals in this case. And then we'll come up to our ending balance. So that's what the bank says we have as of the date, the cutoff date being February 28th. Then we're going to sum up this information. So the total deposits here are going to consist of these deposits by date in this case. And that adds up to this number, which of course is up here in our summary. We also have the checks, we have the date, we have the check number, we have the amount, as well as the other information that is coming out of our bank account, a withdrawal, such as an ATM withdrawal in this case, and a bank service charge of a couple dollars. That comes up with the uh, amount that is going to come out, and that will give us the ending balance. We're going to compare the bank statement uh, to our books. So notice what the bank statement is doing. It's recording all of our transactions. This is exactly what we record in our books. The bank is doing it again for us. And the bank usually does a very good job of doing that. So the purpose of a bank statement is really to tie out the bank's records to our records, thereby uh, giving us a second check, an assurance that we have recorded everything correctly.